What is up everyone? Jaren here, hoping you're safe and great. For this video, i-unbox at i-test out natin itong Razer Barracuda X 2022 Mercury Edition. So, let's go! Alright, to start off with our unboxing of the Razer Barracuda X 2022 Edition. So, inspect na muna natin kung ano yung nasa labas ng box. So, in the front, you'll see a picture of the unit itself. So, I've bought the Mercury Edition. I guess this is the white one. Yun yung tawag dun sa white one. But I get, I got the white. So, check natin kung ano mga labels dito. So, you have Bluetooth, uh, Razer Hyperspeed Wireless Technology, and then Razer Smart Switch Dual Wireless. Because you could switch from 2.4 GHz or yung directly dun sa USB port, and then to Bluetooth. With dual connection simultaneously, so pwede ka mag-switch switch kung gusto mo. Uh, well, which is nice. It It's a seamless way of uh, moving connections one way to the other. And then here's the product name. Razer Barracuda X Mercury Edition, wireless multi-platform gaming and mo mobile headset. And then, yun yung smart switch. Yun yung sabi ko kanina na seamless mag-switch from Bluetooth to 2.4 GHz. 250 grams of ergonomic design, so it's light. And then, Razer Triforce 40mm drivers, whatever that is. And it's compatible with PC, PlayStation Switch, Android, and iOS. Right, so check natin yung right side. So it just says Razer. Yung left side, ayan, so dito yung mga... Right, so nandito yung mga specs, no, some features, and yan. So meron siyang, aside from na-mention natin kanina, na-mention, detachable na hyper-clear cardioid mic, on headset controls, and it has 50 hours battery life with USB-C charging. So test din natin yan in the coming months. Right, and then puntahan natin yung likod. So some more information about the unit itself. So, kung saan nakalagay yung mga parts. Ayan. So, pause nyo na lang kung gusto nyo basahin. Pero, um, not much important to me. <laughs> Kasi gusto ko lang masubukan na yung unit itself. Ayan. So, ito yung USB-C niya. If you're using the 2.4 GHz. Uh, and then, for PC and PlayStation, mer meron din siyang included na USB Type-C to USB-A, which is nice. Kasi not every PC has USB Type-C na connection. Right? So, buksan na natin to. Huwag natin patagalin. So, meron siyang easy na bukasan dito. So, we just have to strip that off. Then, bubuksan mo. So, ang ganda ng, ng bukasan dito, no? Ayan. For gamers, by gamers. Ayan. So, this is, I guess this is the second time na bumili ako ng Razer product. Because, uh, for some time, I feel like Razer is overhyped. Uh, overrated. <laughs> but, they really make good um, products. It's just that may alternatives kasi sa ibang brand na mas mura with the same performance. But this one, it fits all my needs. At the same time, sakto lang yung price range niya. Yan. So, yung una kong in-unbox dito sa channel na Razer was... I think that was a mouse. no? Razer, that other essential yata yun. So, lalagay ko na lang dito yung link. Right? So, si Labas na natin siya dun sa box. Right? Okay. So, opening up the box, you'll be greeted with this paperwork. Ayan, Razer Barracuda X. It doesn't say na 2022 edition, but it, it, it this one is the 2022 edition. Right? So, ayan yung paperworks niya, which we won't read. Of course, as with all Razer products, meron tayong stickers. And here's the unit itself. Right? So, buksan natin. And it's with this parang foamy na protection to protect the unit. And this is the white edition na Razer Barracuda X 2022 edition. And so, may logo siya nung Razer dito. 
As you can see, the foam niya, which is very nice texture. And ang pinaka nagustuhan ko would be the earmuffs kasi hindi siya mainit sa ears. Kasi kung longer gaming periods, well, hindi masaya pag leather. For me ah, for me, kasi medyo pawisin ako. I don't like leather finish. So, here's a switch ng mute or unmute for the microphone. You have the volume rockers here. And then, you could switch ACD to 2.4 GHz or Bluetooth connection. Here, also, it serves as the power button. Okay, here is your, if gusto mong wired, yung connection mo, you could do that directly to the PC or whatever console you have. You have a Type-C connection here for charging and dito may lalagay yung microphone mo, which is the detachable one. Right? So, tignan natin kung ano pa ibang nasa box. Right? So, there's a foam here. So, next box na naman natin itong uh, part na to. So, nandito lahat ng kanyang accessories. So, labas natin yan. Baksa natin isa-isa. So, here is the 3.5mm head jack 2. 3.5mm. If gusto mong wired yung connection mo, you could do that. Ito naman is the... Oh, this is the microphone, which is with the same tone as the earmuffs and the foam here. Yeah, so ganda ng color accent nito, ano? And then you have next would be what is this? Oh, this is the Type C to Type A. So this is the charging cable. Na pwede mo gamitin. And then, you also have the 2.4G connection Type-C. Yan, pwede mo i-directly connect with your console or your PC kung meron kang Type-C na port. And then, here is the converter. If walang Type-C yung PC mo or yung console mo, you could use this. So, just connect this here. And then, connect mo to with your PC. Then, there you go. Meron ka ng uh, wireless. So, you don't have to unwrap this if uh, ilalagay mo naman sa malayo or nakatago lang na maayos tong wire mo para hindi rin siya messy. Tignan. Right? And then, that's it in the box. So, next is it test out natin to. It test out ko din yung microphone. How does it work? And, titignan natin yung kung meron bang latency. Meron bang pagkakaiba? in comparison with a wired headset. Right? So, I'll see you there. Alright, so, tinetest ko ngayon yung microphone ng Razer Barracuda X2022. So, this is how it sounds. Is it good? Tinitignan ko lang siya dito sa OBS. So, is it good? Let me know. Is it fine? Nakikita ko ang taas nung um, register niya. Sa... So, ibig sabihin, sobrang lakas ng boses ko. Kahit mahina lang yung boses ko. <laughs> Ang lakas ng sagap niya, no? So, eto. Hello, 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 mic test. Hello. Hello, hello, mic test. Hello, hello, mic test. Hello, hello, mic test. Hello, hello, mic test. Ngayon, switch naman tayo dun sa DGM ko. Sa Mauno DGM20 na microphone. Hello, mic test. Hello. Hello, mic test. Hello, mic test. Hello, mic test. Hello, mic test. Ayan yung comparison nilang dalawa. Alright. Alright, so yung headphones na to ay nabili ko sa Shopee for only 3,850. So that's 1,000 less from its original price of 4,850. For me, it's a great product for its price nang nabili ko. So yung mga kasabay niya on that price point like the Logitech 435 at the same time yung HyperX na core na wireless, I think this is a much more worth it. Again, for the price of 3,850 kasi nabili ko nga siya ng sale. Pero for the price of 4,850, if original price yung siya bibilihin, meron kayong pwedeng option sa Corsair and sa Steel Series. So, pwede yung bilihin yung mga ka-price point niya at 4,850. I think it's uh, just a matter of preference. 
Kasi, from what I've researched so far, it all has the same performance. So, meron lang pagkakaiba yung, for example, yung Razer Barracuda X, medyo mas treble siya compared dun sa dalawang at the same price point. So, yun lang yung difference nila. Hand to hand, meron silang pros and cons on that, just like any product. Nab- binili ko to kasi, again, may sale. At the same time, natatanggal yung mic niya, which is, kailangan ko kasi may mic na ako na ginagamit, which is yung dati kong ginagamit na uh, tough na headset is hindi natatanggal yung mic. And then, it's white. I love white products, especially electronic products. And lastly, came from Razer, which is a gaming brand, which is a well-known gaming brand. So, yun lang yung dahilan kung bakit ko binili yung product, no? So, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, just click on that like button and subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this. And I'll see you on the next one.